chapter because it said 30 minutes to finish the chapter no thank you so if I can get like four out of five books read I will be a happy princess okay okay you see it you see it you see you see her you see her yeah she's she's a moment yeah we, there's something about that there's something about that that just makes it chef kiss the only personality trait they really gave her was her being a hard worker which pisses me off because the strong black woman narrative truly needs to die like what's that about what's that about the prices for books are going up like you know how sometimes like back in the day you would be like sitting in class and you would start doodling and like you would have a whole page of doodles and you would be like this shit kind of nice like it kind of would look like art or something like that but it wasn't art like it literally was just doodles that's what this book feels like I might have to stand up and film this. Oh, I don't know if I can sit on this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stand up, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to have to film this standing up because I got the little poofy thing that you put under the dress. Like, you know, I had to be extra and go over the top for my girl Tiana. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I wish I could wear this all day. Well, hello, 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 Book to the World. It is I, Capri Nicole, and I am back with another video so today if you're new here or if you haven't seen my other videos i have a series called reading like disney princesses and i think this is the third one that's hard to do with, with gloves this is the third one so in today's vlog we're going to be reading like princess tiana my girl okay so of course i have to come in in the beginning being absolutely extra it's it's necessary it's absolutely necessary so let's talk about what we're going to be doing in this vlog we have a pretty extensive tbr today but i'm hoping that i can snag at least two via audiobook because here's the problem these two books i did not realize they were both huge like i knew this one was longer because i've seen this one in person but this one i don't know for some reason when i went to the bookstore i kept seeing like these disney villain retellings and they were like little small books so i didn't know this was like a full-blown novel this is like four or five hundred pages did not know that but i'm hoping that i can get the audiobook for one of these child i don't know so in today's vlog we're going to be doing a few things number one obviously we have a tbr number two we're going to be watching the disney movie and number three i'm probably going to try to find like a new orleans themed restaurant or like some some place that has like new orleans food you know because tiana was like a big food food connoisseur if you will you know she liked the restaurant she liked to cook stuff like that so i'm gonna try to see if i can find like a new orleans gumbo style dish and then I also got there we go okay so I got this which is Tiana's cookbook and it's really cute I thought it was gonna be like like more for like little kids just because I mean it's a Disney princess book but this is like a very thorough <laughs> well thought out cookbook and there's a lot of really good recipes in here so I'm definitely trying to try some of these and I asked you guys in a poll what you would like me to cook from this cookbook and all of you guys I think you guys chose dessert so I'm gonna pick a dessert to cook out of Tiana's little cookbook so for our TBR I have there's five books first one is from the Disney retelling which is like a collab between authors where they're each taking on a retelling of a Disney princess or a Disney villain or a Disney story and this one is called Almost There by Ferreira Roshan and I swear I've seen her name before I was trying to find the book that she wrote and I knew it was this one so she's the author that wrote 
the boyfriend project so i knew i've seen her name before but yeah so almost there by ferrera roshan i guess it's like a darker retelling of tiana like kind of where she like did the opposite of what people expected her to so i'm interested to read this one and then we have the ballad of perilous graves which i picked this one specifically because it's set in new orleans and it just really just gives me the new orleans like vibes so it's basically set following a world called nola and in the world nola there's like a magical city within their same city there's a hidden city that has like spirits and ghosts and ghouls and a ton of like new orleans folk tales and like new orleans fairy tales like it just really engulfs like new orleans culture so i'm excited to read that one because it sounds like really magical and really fun and i've heard the audiobook is really good i put a hold in for my in my library for the audiobook so i'm hoping that i can get my hands on audiobook for this because she is chunky i got this little cutie look at her look at her so this is the lily gate which is literally just a frog, frog and the princess retelling it's like a middle grade children's book so i'm excited to read this one because i feel like it'll be quick it'll be fun and then of course I'm gonna keep it for my future kids that are not here yet aside from these three books there's also two other books that i found another one is an audiobook which thank god script had my back so it's an audiobook and it is basically following this main character who lives in california i think and then he ends up moving to new orleans and he go he ends up finding this like magical school that's in the swamps of new orleans so i think it's going to be really cool really fun i believe it's a middle grade so i'm interested to read it because if i like it i'm gonna get a physical copy so there's that and then there's also a kindle unlimited book that i saw floating around on my instagram on my feed which is like another frog and the princess retelling but it's set in our world and it's following this waitress who has like really bad anxiety and panic attacks and she falls for this guy that i think has a heart condition and it's kind of like their love story but she's really focused on being a waitress and becoming an owner of the place that she works at because the restaurant that she w works at is owned by her family and her her uncle currently owns it and she just doesn't like the way that he runs it so she's saving up to buy the restaurant and just completely revamp it and make it like a girls brunch really classy uh, breakfast spot so she's working hard to get to that but he's trying to like you know date her and get to know her but she's just <laughs> headstrong and working hard so that she can own this restaurant so he's basically waiting for her okay for them to start dating and it just is like their love story he keeps coming to the restaurant talking to her and stuff like that so I'm excited to read that little kindle moment but that should be it so i'm excited for this vlog i hope you guys enjoy it please please pray that i get these audiobooks because <laughs> i'm really hoping i want to get like either all of these books read or like 95 percent like four like because we have three here and then two other ones so if i can get like four out of five books read i will be a happy princess okay so that is the goal we'll see how it uh, we'll see how it goes oh so yeah i'm super excited i really hope everything goes to plan i hope i get my hold released on my library please please if you're out there please get that hold released because people be holding on to books for too damn long in libby let's get into this video i'll see y'all in the next clip bye so this book has been through hell and back already oh i caught my arms aren't in my sleeve so if you see something hanging it's just it's just my sleeve i haven't put my arms in yet so the first book we're gonna read for this tiana vlog which i'm so i'm just so excited for this one i really wish i could do more <laughs> with tiana's vlog but the only personality trait they really gave her was her being a hard worker which pisses me off because the strong black woman narrative truly needs to die like it needs to die i just wanted her to have more interest to see her do more things but obviously cooking was something that was really important to her and reaching her goals so i'm going to look at the positives of that movie the first one that i'm going to be reading is a lily gate and like i said i'm pretty sure this is like a middle grade something quick it's only around 100 pages and it has a ton of like illustrations child i started reading this book yesterday i had put it down on the counter while i was eating dinner and it got wet it's one of it's one of the big the things that i hate the most about 
books is when they get wet and then the crinkly page thing happens and it, it just drives me crazy i hate it so much the way it looks is driving me crazy but anyway i've gotten like 24 pages into this and it basically is just like a cute little retelling of the princess and the frog main character her name is tula and she her and her father came up with this competition for all of her suitors where they have to compete to win her hand in marriage it's kind of like a bind up of a whole bunch of fairy tales in a way because there are fae in here there are princesses and princes there also is like the sleeping beauty trope she was granted one true love by her fairy godmother which is a cinderella trope so it kind of just has like pulls from other fairy tales which is kind of cool it's really quick and easy to read i'm enjoying it it's not like cringy or anything it's just something cute and the frog that is introduced in this book she met him when she fell into a pond i'm pretty sure it's like her childhood friend because she said like her childhood friend prince naveen which is you know from the movie they grew up together and she hasn't seen him in like two years and i think he's cursed because every time he tries to tell her who he is he can't get it out so there's something going on there as of right now the competition is about to start we're about to see who her suitors are and who will have her hand in marriage so that's going to be pretty cool to read something quick. I'm so annoyed with this. I might have to order another copy and just like donate this one because just looking at these pa the page that got wet is just it's driving me crazy. I also got <laughs> I got the audiobook. It finally got released. I had put a hold in my library for the audiobook for this because this is a big boy, but I wanted to finish it and the audiobook is like 17 hours. <laughs> But I know I'll be able to finish it, but it's just like realistically, I knew I would not have been able to physically read this. I just don't have the time. So this one is The Ballad of Perilous Graves. And I don't even remember what this is about, but I had already started the audiobook. I'm like an hour in. And the introduction was like really fun because it was like music playing, like this whole piano moment. And it's based in New Orleans, so you kind of get that feel. I'm going to have to read the synopsis for this though, so I know what is going on. Because as of right now, being going into this blind and not really knowing anything is, is kind of my downfall because <laughs> I, I simply don't know what's happening but I'm an hour into the audiobook I know I'll be able to finish this one soon so as of right now these are the two books that we're focusing on right now I'm still trying to track down the audiobook for this but I genuinely I just don't think I don't think I'm going to be able to find the audiobook for this so I'll just have to read it physically and get as much done as I can will I be able to finish it probably not but we're gonna hope for the best with that one and I also got the audiobook for I can't remember what it was called but it was basically like a magical school set in the swamps of New Orleans and it follows like this it's like a middle grade book I, I got the audiobook for that one so I'm really excited to read it I found it on this author's Instagram he's the author of one of my favorite books from last year called bones to the wind I'll put up a picture here so you guys can see but you really should follow her if you're into fantasy and you're trying to read more diverse fantasy because she shares a ton of fantasy books especially Kindle unlimited fantasy books in her story so I've been finding a lot of those to add to my Kindle based just from following her so if you're someone that's looking for more black fantasy or more black fantasy and on KU then I highly recommend following that author we're gonna get cracking on these two and hopefully start reading almost there but I'm not too worried about these because I know I'm gonna finish this one today and then the audiobook I know I'll be able to to push through for the next like couple from like few days <laughs> excited to read these I will see you guys in the next clip bye
let's chat. So I finished the Lily Gate and I enjoyed it. It was so cute. I, honestly, the whole time I was reading it, I was laughing because in this book, like I told you guys, she ended up meeting this frog. And when she met the frog, obviously it's one of the princes, but she doesn't know that. When she met the frog, he ended up agreeing to be like, basically like her wingman giving her like advice and because she's a black girl and she has like very kinky big hair he kind of just like hides on her shoulder and she like fluffs her hair out and no one can see him so like he kind of was like giving her the tea on all of the princes that were competing for her heart and basically keeping an eye out but during the competition her childhood friend prince naveen was claiming that he was competing as well and as the story goes on you find out more about it it's really cute i enjoyed it it didn't it didn't read young like you know how sometimes you read like ya or middle grade or like children's books and it reads like young it didn't read young it was i really enjoyed it the competitions were cute and she was looking for somebody that actually was like a good person aside from like you know how the disney movies are somebody that is fine somebody that got wealth and power whatever but she was looking for someone that was kind-hearted and that they had like a strong attraction to each other and that he would be a good like king or co-ruler she kept saying co-ruler because she just was like i'm the princess like if we get married i'm gonna be the one in charge you're not gonna be the one that's ruling my country like no but the competitions were cute the story was cute i enjoyed everything the only thing is why do they make naveen white What's that about what's that about what's that about hmm we couldn't keep him black like we had to make him some blonde haired white boy he could have stayed black he could have definitely stayed black but it's okay nevertheless <laughs> the story was still cute i enjoyed it i'm definitely gonna keep this but like i told y'all the water damage like just looking at that it's just something about water damaged books water damaged books really just it just it's like nail on a chalkboard for me i simply cannot deal with it but it was cute i enjoyed it i'm definitely going to be picking up this one i'm gonna start reading this because i have a little bit of a drive i need to read the synopsis for this this is 28 dollars. i bought this on amazon it was not 28 dollars. the prices for books are going up I don't know some of our favorite bookstores might be gone in the next like five years or so because $30 for a hardcover remember when hardcovers used to be like $20 <laughs> hardcovers used to really be $20 and paperbacks would be 10 to 15 those days are over clearly I need to read the synopsis of this so I know what's going on. The only reason I added this to my TBR was because it's based in New Orleans. So, I need to read the synopsis again. But, yeah, I'm going to pick this audiobook up next. We still have to watch the movie. So, we have plenty of things to do <laughs> still in this vlog. So, I will see you guys in the next clip. Bye. Oh, glasses off. Look at my little alien. Oh, let me cover my nipples, too. Look at my little alien. Yeah. Okay, you see it. You see it? You see you see her. You see her. Yeah, she, she's a moment. Yeah, we got, had to dig up my old beanie. Because <laughs> I've been rocking Tiana for a while now. Like, I'm not a newcomer to this. You know what I'm saying? Let's chat. A couple things. Let's, first of all, let's start with an update for... The Ballad of Perilous Graves. I'm currently on chapter... Oh, child. They doing Roman numerals? Oh, it is. It's the Roman numerals. Girl, I do not know... This is marked by Roman numerals. I do not know Roman numerals. And I am not going to learn. And I... Hey. I was trying to flip to the page so y'all can see how much I read. Because I've been listening to an audio book. But Roman numerals, we don't know her. Okay? But... I've gotten to chapter six, <laughs> so I know what it's about now. So basically, it's following these characters that are living in New Orleans, but it's also like magic 
within the land of New Orleans and there's also like the undead there's graves there's voodoo there's hoodoo there's ghosts so it's just like a like specific parts of the city that they know has like magic or they know has like spirits or they you know what I'm saying that they know and a lot of them have like magical abilities they have magical wielding powers they practice voodoo stuff like that so it's like mixed into their lives and throughout the book some of the magic and some of the spirits that are like very well known within New Orleans slowly start disappearing or start acting a little bit strange and Perry who is one of the main characters is trying to figure out why that is so like what is going on because there's a spirit that is really known for like music and he's always like around singing and stuff like that and then he starts messing up his songs he starts showing up less so he's trying to figure out what's going on in his city that's what this book is following got to chapter six i will say we do have a diverse cast i am really enjoying the audiobook because the narrator is like changing up his voice a lot he has the new orleans accent and there's music involved there's like there's also like different voice effects that are put on the characters it's just it's enjoyable it's very entertaining it's very like story time-esque the audiobook so you will not get bored reading it however reading it is a little bit disjointed like we're following perry and we're also following i can't remember the other main character's name is it casey there's another main character that we're following as well who is actually trans which i appreciate i like to see trans characters in books but we're following them as well and it's just a little bit disjointed i'm trying to catch my footing with the storytelling because it's very entertaining but i'm just slowly getting into it yeah i'm only i'm 15 percent into it so i'm still trying to catch my footing with the actual storytelling but it does feel like a little bit disjointed it's very entertaining but it's like it just feels like we're being clued in and added into this world i don't know how to explain it it just feels disjointed but i feel like because i'm so early into the book I feel like once I get to like 20%, 25%, everything will start clicking into place because I'm still filling out the story. But so far, the narrator for the audiobook is doing a great job. It's very diverse. It's very lively. It's very New Orleans. So it's the perfect book for this vlog. And yeah, yeah, as y'all know, yeah. How you gonna do a Tiana vlog without getting some gumbo? Like... <laughs> Your girl got some gumbo. So I got, I was looking for like a New Orleans style restaurant, but there actually is a New Orleans ish restaurant near my house. And I was like, they have gumbo and they have beignets. So your girl got the goods. I got gumbo. I haven't had gumbo from there before. I usually get their fried shrimp and I also got the beignets. I've had their beignets before. They are amazing, which if you don't know, beignets just like it's it's literally Tiana's brand. Like that's a part of the movie. Duh. It's a dessert. They put powdered sugar on it. It's kind of like a donut but flaky and sweet. So I got the gumbo, I got beignets, and I figured I'd watch I'd eat that while I watched the movie. When my mom was married, her ex-husband was from New Orleans, so his his family was really big. They were huge on cooking. It was just, uh, yeah, like the whole culture of like New Orleans people, I love it. <laughs> like, and I just love the way food brings people together. I've had their gumbo before, but it was red and it had a ton of seafood in it. Like, it was so good i've never had something that tastes that good in my life but it was like a huge gumbo pot and she met it with rice and red beans phenomenal so we're gonna see if he holds up to that and we're gonna watch tiana's movie okay so let's get into it i'll see y'all next clip bye <laughs> how we looking y'all got some shrimp gumbo okay beignets ready to go
what's up y'all so i just got back from going to the store and grabbing some wine and the ingredients that i needed for what we're going to be cooking in tiana's cookbook so i just figured i'll let you guys know what we're going to cook and i'll give you a little bit of an update on the books so let's see so i wanted to make a berry peachy cobbler can you guys see that so you guys wanted me to make a dessert so i figured i would make a berry peachy cobbler i think this is going to be so cute so really this is just like peaches and raspberries and goodness it just sounds so yummy but here's the thing <laughs> i love baking my boyfriend actually got me like an electric mixer so that i could bake more but i don't like when desserts have fruit in them something about the, the texture it drives me crazy I, I just can't eat it like I never liked apple pies I absolutely hate it I will vomit everywhere I never liked peach cobblers because just like like the crust of a pie and like the flakiness I really like like I like crunchy stuff and I like sometimes I like cakes depends on what it is but it needs to be consistent like I can eat a cheesecake that has like a fruit jelly or jam on it but if it has like the actual fruits in it it's something about that that i don't like like pancakes with blueberries in them i hate it peach cobblers apple pies all of that i hate it but baking it <laughs> baking it will be fun and plus i can just give it to my mom i think it's just like wet and dry touching like my family obviously everyone loves eating cake and ice cream the idea of putting ice cream on a dry cake it just something about that i can't i can't do it but then it's like i like salads with croutons in it so i guess it just depends on the textures but yeah desserts with fruits in them or any type of bake fluffy flaky yummy goodness and then you put like something squishy in it i don't like it like i don't like that i don't like jelly donuts like anything that just is squishy like why is that there it's just so weird but anyway <laughs> i think it'll be fun to make and i know it'll have the house smelling so good and i know my mom's gonna enjoy it so she's gonna bring me her cast iron skillet so that i can cook it tomorrow and then once i finish it i'll just give it to her so that she can eat it and it doesn't go to waste but yeah that's what we're gonna bake let's talk about perilous graves and how i'm how i'm feeling about it so i've been listening to this on audiobook and i have about three hours left so i'll probably end up finishing this tomorrow when i first did an update i was like 15 percent in and i was a little bit confused about like what was going on like it was so weird because like the characters were explained well the world i understood i understood the plot like it, basically in the world it has a hidden world called nola and certain things within that world are starting to disappear there's specific characters that are introduced that are known for like singing throughout the city they're like spirits and they're undead and they're slowly starting to lose their songs so the two characters perry or three of them perry brenda and peaches so perry brenda and peaches are all trying to find these lost songs of the hidden world nola so I understand the plot. There's a plot. The characters are very profound. They're very jump off the page. The audiobook is very well done. The world is unique. It's full of like New Orleans culture. But there's something so disorientating about this book and I don't know how to explain it because usually if something's wrong with a book I can say like okay well this is my problem with it. But it just feels jumpy. Like if someone asked me what was going on in this book, I could fully explain it. I could fully go into detail about the characters. I could fully go into the plot, the world, everything. But it just feels jumpy and disorientating. Like, it just feels like different episodes in a show. Like, we're all following the same characters, but it's all different things that are happening. It just feels very jumpy. Like, new things keep getting introduced, new characters, new stuff. It just, just feels like... <sighs> I don't know how to explain it I just that's all I can say is it feels disorientating it feels jumpy and I'm just like not I thought I was gonna be so engulfed in this world I literally had faith in this because I got a hardcover book like I thought this was gonna be a new favorite because the whole idea around this book just sounds so cool but the execution is just like you know how sometimes like back in the day you would be like sitting in class and you would start doodling and like you would have a whole page of doodles and you would be like this shit kind of nice like it kind of would look like art or something like that 
but it wasn't art like it literally was just doodles that's what this book feels like i cannot explain it better than that it feels like doing a puzzle and just like lining up all the puzzle pieces exactly where they're supposed to connect but not connecting them so you can see the picture but the pieces are not you're not putting them together you're not putting you're not clicking the puzzles to, that's what this book feels like so at this point i thought once i got more into it i was just waiting for that click like you know how sometimes with books especially with fantasy or anything in dealing with magic you need to wait for that click because the world needs to be explained the characters need to be explained the plot and once you get there you're good but i just i never got there with this one i really thought that eventually i would and now i have like three hours left in the book and i'm still not there unfortunately so I don't, I don't even I don't know I feel like someone from New Orleans could really connect to this because it's full of New Orleans folktales it's full of New Orleans culture it's full of New Orleans vibes so like if you're familiar with any of the folklore or if you were born and raised there or if you were raised around New Orleans people because my mom was married to someone from New Orleans and their family was huge so I've heard a lot of these folktales I know a lot of these songs and all this stuff but just for me I just I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I would unfortunately I also started waiting on Wendy on my Kindle and I'm I think I'm like an hour into that book I probably have like two hours left that book basically like I said it was following a main character her name is Wendy and a guy comes in his name is Kellyan, yeah his, his name is Kellyan, and he's really interested in getting to know her and taking her out but she's so focused on saving her money and working hard and getting her life together that she, so that she can buy the restaurant that she's working at because her family owns it it's in her family but her uncle currently owns it and she just wants to revamp it because it's just very giving very much hooters so she's just trying to make it classy upscale brunch type situation so that's her main focus so he said okay well i'll wait for you so he continues to come to the restaurant tries to you know court her ask her how like updates on like her plans and stuff like that but the issue with this book is uh, it has so much potential like the setup was cute the cover is cute the characters are interesting the plot is cute but it's one point of view we don't get dual pov i think that romance books absolutely need dual pov because it's just something so refreshing about seeing one person and how they're viewing everything and hearing them talk and hearing their tone and then hearing the other person's tone as well and how they interpret certain situations that both of them end up in it just is something about that like or like one of my favorite things in romance books is when like a character is saying something and then the chapter cuts off right in the middle of their sentence and then it starts at the beginning of him saying something like i think a perfect example of this is i'll put a picture up it was a main character and she had just cut all her hair off and she was just like oh like i know it's a different i know it's not something like you're used to like you're used to seeing me with long hair and she's like i know i look and then it like cut and then it went to his point of view and it was like beautiful she looked beautiful like there's something about that there's something about that that just makes it chef kiss it just makes it perfect and this book is really missing that like i'm i keep flipping through it waiting to see if maybe we'll get his pov but i'm almost 40 percent in and i don't think it's coming like it's not coming we're only hearing from her side especially because she's not the one pining like she's interested in him but like it's just following her like as a waitress being exhausted with life and him actively trying to court her but like i want to hear him pining and talking about her like i want to hear that i don't want to just be in her head talking about her waitress and how exhausted she is with life like and then she also is just like kind of like woe is me kind of she always is like oh well that couldn't be me or i couldn't do something like that or i'm just like girl please like uh it's not too much it's just like here and there and then on top of that the chapters are really long the chapters are like 20 to 30 minutes i stopped at the last chapter because it said 30 minutes to finish the chapter no thank you okay <laughs> i'm gonna probably end up finishing it either monday or tuesday but I just think it has so much potential and I'm just like not really feeling it. It's a little bit boring. We'll see how it goes. But as of right now, it's a no for me, dog. Okay. But that's where we're at right now. I still haven't started this. <laughs> I still have not started almost there. But will I get to it? I don't know. I need to at least get 
maybe like a hundred pages in. I need to do a little bit of a deep dive so I know something about the book. But that's where we're at. That's how we're going. That's the update. <laughs> so I will see you guys in the next clip. Alright, so I finished The Ballad of Perilous Graves and... Honestly, I've already said enough about this book. I still felt the same by the end of the book. It really put me in the mind of a few other books that I read. One being N.K. Jemisin's book. Another one being a book that I read a while ago. A Latinx story where their culture and their city were being taken over i enjoyed that one i think it could have been it could have been a tiny bit better it had the potential to be a fave but i thought it was just like it was pretty good nk jemison's book i didn't like so i'm starting to think that these types of books were like children take back the city or children become avatars or their city is being taken over i just don't think it's for me because this is like the third or the fourth book that i've read like this and even the one that I enjoyed was just okay. So I'm starting to think it's the, it's the type of book that I don't like. And I also said enough about The Ballad of per Perilous Graves so that y'all know how I feel about it. So I still feel the same about that. Now, Waiting on Wendy. I think I had already started telling you guys that it was not dual POV, but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm not going to lie. I really think that I want a physical copy of this one because I just enjoyed once they got together. Like everything leading up to that, him waiting on her, pining after her, it just didn't have that same burn and that same vigor because we weren't getting his POV and we weren't getting like how he felt waiting for her, how he saw her. And she did have like lower self-esteem so she kind of talked bad about herself here and there but once they actually did get together they had this like ongoing banter of like really dark things that were going on in the book they just kind of had like the sarcastic joking dark humor that i thought was fun and i enjoyed them together they also it was also a few good quotes in there as well so if you want to see what quotes i highlighted just stay tuned for my goodreads reviews because it automatically links once you do your review i liked her best friend i liked the diner setting i think it was really well done like it didn't feel overly dramatic it didn't feel like oh everything's perfect it felt very realistic i feel like it was written in a way that i didn't really have any gripes with like how everything ended up really enjoyed it i definitely recommend this book if you like millionaires in books if you like pining if you don't have an issue with medical issues then i recommend this book i enjoyed it i enjoyed all the sexy times i didn't feel like overly descriptive over the top but it just i like them together and i like their story so i really think i want a physical copy of this one i didn't it's not a new favorite but i did enjoy it enough to want to put it on my shelves and have it grace the shelves you know what i'm saying so i also started tj young and the orishas so this one i'm really enjoying as well it really puts me in the mind of onyeka as well as like a harry potter-esque book without the problematic author so i'm really enjoying it it's basically following this main character his name is tj he is yerba and his family all have magical abilities his brother sister both and his mother all have magical abilities i think his father is like human quote unquote it's set in our world but it's just like they have hidden magical abilities so it's like a little hidden secret society and someone close to him ends up passing away and slowly secrets start to be revealed he ends up being connected to this person that passed away and i'm just really enjoying it it's fun the audiobook is really well done. There's a lot of like sound effects. I just really enjoy when they really put their all into audiobooks. So I'm enjoying that for the most part. I still haven't started this. I really wanted to get at least halfway through this, but I haven't even started this yet. But I am proud of myself because I finished I finished three. And I think by tomorrow I can finish TJ's book. So I'll probably end up finishing like th finishing like three and a half or four books. So if I get to start this one today or tomorrow, that's fine. If not, it is what it is. I did my best. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to continue listening to TJ's book while I cook the cobbler. So I'll see y'all in the next clip. Where are my girlies that watch Real Housewives of Potomac? Best show out there. 
Okay. I'm gonna watch this while I cook, even though I should be reading. <laughs> All right, y'all. So here's how we looking. We got the cookbook. We got the skillete. We got the raspberries. The butter. We got some milk. Whip of the cream. Flour, sugar. Okay, so here's how we looking. We got the batter, we got all the fruit, and now I just need to put it in the oven. So we'll see it when it comes out. You guys, look how good it came out. Chef Boyar Pre in the building. It still had like three minutes left, but I just didn't want it to burn because it looked golden enough to me. So my mom will definitely enjoy this. It looks so good. It's just bubbling away. <laughs> I hope she likes this. Look at that. Look how good it looks. So that's how we looking. It's gonna be served with some good old cream. I'm sure my mom's gonna put ice cream on this. <laughs> but that is how our berry peach cobbler came out. And I'm pretty sure this is for like <laughs> children, but like I said, it's really thorough. There's really good recipes in here, but it said like ask an adult to assist with the stove. I'm like, I'm the only adult here. <laughs> But it was cute, it was fun, and it has the house smelling absolutely divine. Whew. Okay, y'all. Let me scooch up a little bit. I have some unfortunate news. <laughs> I'm actually here to close out the vlog. I was going to extend it for one more day because I would have been able to get maybe like a hundred pages into this and then I could have also I would have also finished the audiobook by tomorrow tomorrow is the last day of black history month and I already have everything edited so I really wanted to spend the next couple of hours finalizing the edit and getting it uploaded for you guys tomorrow so that I don't have to feel frazzled trying to do it all in a shorter amount of time tomorrow i would rather have everything up finalized and done today i feel like i have a good amount of content i feel like i finished a ton of books i had a really good time filming this video so i'm just ready to get back to my one video a week <laughs> Like I'm truly ready and if I haven't mentioned this already I have already pre-filmed for March so not this Saturday but next Saturday we will be back to our regularly scheduled program because one video will be out which will be this one. The Saturday after that on we'll be back to every Saturday at 3 which is my usual schedule unless things get chaotic and then it's Sunday at 3 but I already have three videos already scheduled edited and posted for March so you guys are going to be eating good <laughs> don't worry but I really just need a little bit of a break because February for me really is like a burnout month it's kind of like vlogmas for me so I kind of just need a break and on top of that I was film pre-filming for March because I wanted to be able to give myself a break I'm really heavy back in the gym right now I'm really trying to focus on my, on my nutrition and stuff like that so I really wanted to give myself time to freely read to catch up on good reads and stuff like that so everything's already planned for March I really enjoyed all of my content from this month I hope you guys enjoyed it as well I hope you guys had a great black history month I hope everyone's happy and doing things that make them happy uh, let's see so let's wrap up this vlog so in this vlog we did a ton of stuff we read so many books i think i'm gonna give my star rating for the books now so the first book that i read was lily gate and i will give this a 3.5 like a 3.5 3.75 i actually really enjoyed this i thought it was cute cute little children book so that was number one number two was ballad of per perilous graves i honestly don't think i want to give a rating for that book because as far as enjoyment, 
it really wasn't something that I enjoyed but it's hard for me to give it a harsh rating because of what I explained already in the previous clips so I don't want to go too deep into that one then we have waiting on Wendy which I will give a 3.75 I enjoyed that I'm definitely gonna try to get a physical copy of that one because I thought it was well done although I do wish it was dual point of view but for the most part I enjoyed it I think it'll be nice to have it grace my shelves I did also start TJ Young and I'm going to end up finishing that one tomorrow. I'm really enjoying it. It's reminding me a lot of Onyeka as well as like Harry Potter and it's just giving me like magical African water elemental vibes and it doesn't read young it feels just like fun to follow along i really enjoy middle grade books that don't feel like you're being spoon fed like a child even though it is a middle grade book for children i do know a lot of adults that enjoy middle grade as well so it's nice to pick up something that's like that so the audiobook is, is really well done i know i'll finish that one tomorrow never pick this one up but i don't want to prolong this vlog and not get it up in time i think I've done enough, I think I have enough edited, and I want to get this up for you guys before the month ends. So, we read three books, 3.25 books, and we cooked, we had gumbo, we watched the movie, we had a good time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Let me know in the comment section below something that you've done recently that made you happy if you made it to the end of this video please leave a i guess like a pie like some type of dessert like a pie emoji or a dessert emoji for the cobbler that i've just made that came out amazing and has the house smelling so good leave that in the comment section below also let me know which princess you guys want me to do next everybody keeps saying ariel don't say ariel because she's already planned Okay, she's playing, so Ariel is off the table. Give me a different princess. <laughs> what princess you guys want me to do next? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope everyone's at peace. I hope everyone's happy. Please take care of yourselves. Make sure you hydrate. Make sure you stretch and move your body. And yeah, I really enjoyed doing this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Always remember, read a book, keep your life interesting. And I will see you next time. Bye.